Square log. Two pry bars. Ratchet. Grease gun. Two wooden blocks at least four feet long each. Pipes. Unscrew the zerk fitting to remove the tension and cover with a shop towel to prevent any grease from getting onto the track. Lift the bucket and put it in a vertical position to push on the wood log to compress the tensioning cylinder and remove the grease. Make sure that the four foot wood blocks are in the correct position. With the bucket in the vertical position, push downward, which will lift the vehicle, which will lay on the four foot logs to free the track. Start to remove the track on the front idler side with the pry bars. If you have trouble, you can insert metal tubes between the guide lugs while turning the track to make enough space to easily remove the track. With the pry bars, remove the track on the sprocket side. Do the same on the rear idler side. Lift the vehicle with the bucket if needed. Use a forklift to bring the track as close as possible to the vehicle. Place the track on the frame to make sure there's no sag. With the forklift, install the track partially around the rear idler. Make sure to be careful during this step. Hold the track around the bottom of the rear idler and use the pry bars to insert it around the top of the sprocket. Get back to the rear idler to finish the installation. At front idler level, insert three pipes every two lugs while turning the track. Beware of your hands. Stop the track rotation when the three pipes are engaged around the idler. This allows the required space to slide the lugs over the idler with a pry bar. Remove the logs. Tighten the zerk fitting. With a piece of cloth, remove any grease that spills. Put new grease into the zerk fitting with a grease gun. Tension the track. Make sure to have one inch of sag between the track and the center mid roller. Lower the vehicle. 